Welcome back YouTube, this is Two Point Show coming back at you with more Idle Heroes content. Today I figured we could take a look at Flame Shrine bosses on the Junior account, since, you know, we haven't done that in a while. We haven't really made much upgrades. Um, I don't know if last time we had Dantalion on the team or if we had Garuda E3. Um, but either way, you know, we got Gru 9 star, Sigmund 7 star. Outside of that, the team is basically the same. We leveled up the monster, maybe a few levels, um, and then maybe some stones. But outside of that, probably don't have much going on. Um, I figured, you know, we still, as a, as a guild, we haven't hit the first, like, mark, um, you know, for the multiplier and all that. So I figure we'll just see how much we can do. And maybe, maybe, you know, the guild has gotten better. Because I really, I haven't checked the, the stats and the numbers and all that in so long. Um, and honestly, I feel like we're doing pretty decent right now for, um, you know, them being the, the Flame Shrine boss. And us basically having a team of six stars. And then Garuda, um, you know, just us living. I'm shocked that we're kind of making it this far. But still, um, you know, obviously there's no way that I'm going to hit massive numbers, but I just kind of want to see where I'm at. And you might be like, well, why is Gru in slot one instead of Sigmund? You know, some someone's probably wondering that. And the only reason that I put is for the attack steal. Because if I can reduce the damage coming from my whole team, I think that's a little bit better. 89 is that 89 million that is not bad that's the highest damage i've ever seen on this which you know honestly is not too bad i can live with that um let's do a few more attempts you know we we got one for free we we might do three we might even do four we'll see where we're at but for the most part um i don't know i could definitely upgrade heart watcher i could level her up i could Level Delosium to 8 star or so. And heck, I could probably get Sigmund even, you know, 7, 8, or 8 or 9. But, um, I don't know. I just don't want to be wasting food like that. Like, I do want Gru to be 10 star. Just for, you know, the tank aspect of things. And I do want Heart Watcher to be a little bit higher level. But... If it's taking away from food for Garuda, you know, to be E4, E5, then I don't really think that that is worth it. Um, it's just one of those things that, obviously, she does a ton of damage. And she does more if she has a decent team supporting her. But again, I don't know. I just feel like it's more important right now to push that. Because, um, again, we'll we'll see where I'm sitting at. 50, 55, basically. Not... Not too bad. That's about where I expected to be. Sigmund did a lot less. And heck, I, it kind of looks like everyone did. Maybe they just did a little bit more damage. Or maybe we just got insanely lucky. Let's do one more. Just to really find out, you know, what's what. Um, but again, for the most part, I'm kind of liking how this team is coming along. And for those, you know, who don't spend on Idle Heroes... This is a good account, and I can keep up with them, and I don't want to say beat them, because most of the time, it's kind of 50-50, but I do decent in PvE um, for that, and PvP, again, like I said, I can kind of beat some teams. The ones who spend, though, there's no way that I'm competing with them, but I don't know, having another account, I feel like it helps me understand a little bit more. So, again, that's that's that. Um, but, anyways, outside of that, have you guys seen the spoilers for the anniversary event? They seem pretty awesome. Um, I don't want to talk about that just just yet. Um, I'm kind of waiting until tomorrow morning to, to get more. Um, but, by the time that this comes out, there's probably going to be a whole lot going on. 50, 55, basically, again. Um, not, not horrible. Sigmund did a little bit more. And that's basically how I can tell it. Let's see what, what rank we are. So, oh, 
So we're number four, and we can definitely hit number three, which I totally will do. Um, yesterday, though, I only did my two attacks, so there's that. Um, I, can, I feel weird hitting four, especially if, you know, we're not going to finish top three, or we're not going to get the damage multiplier. Kind of just one of those things. But, you know, since if if everything goes right, we'll hit top three, I'm cool with that. Um, just because the, the rewards, you know, it, it kind of makes it worth it for an extra 50, 50 gems. Why not, right? It, it is what it is. And again, that's one thing that I would recommend, um, you know, if you're testing out or whatever, and you do three, and then you're like, well, should I even do a fourth one? I'd say most of the time no, but if you can help boost yourself up, you might as well. But again, the point of this video was just to see that it's okay to not hit crazy numbers, it's okay to have fun, build one hero, and maybe that's the way to go, you know? Again, I hear that all the time. But, now we'll see. My my team, we just hit top three. And I don't even attack all the time, all days. Um, I just thought that it would be kind of special. And on this rate, we'll finish top three tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of everything. Um, but I kind of hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys learned something, had fun, whatever. And I hope you guys check out the channel in the future. And... Maybe we'll be covering the spoilers tonight or tomorrow, so stay tuned and have a blessed day, guys. Take care.